Many across the state woke up this morning without power. Concerns from last year's winter storm and grid failures still fresh on the minds of many Texans. KAMR Local 4's Judd Baker spoke with local energy officials about our power grid and how it's separate from the rest of the state and how it fared during the storm. The high plains digging out of the snow Thursday afternoon. Amarillo sank three to four inches across the city. While more than 40,000 Texans woke up Thursday morning without power. I do believe they had some more icing uh, issues. XL Energy spokesman Wes Reeves says the high plains saw a lower number of outages. You know, looking at the big picture, we've had probably fewer than 500 customers uh, with sustained outages uh, just in the Amarillo area and also looking into uh, eastern New Mexico is that we've had enough uh, power to meet the demand plus a nice reserve margin, uh, not only here, but also in the whole Southwest power pool. Uh, so we've had a very good supply. Reeves says the lower number of outages is because we haven't seen the conditions that caused them. The ice, the high winds, the snow has been light. It hasn't been real heavy. Uh, so really outside of just being cold and uncomfortable, uh, our system, you know, has maintained been maintained very well. Our reliability is very high right now. Amid concerns of the state's natural gas supply, Michael Gonzalez with Atmos Energy says their system is performing well. Our guys have been doing a, an, an outstanding job and have been monitoring our systems. Our, our system is 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 performing uh, great, and we have not experienced any issues at this time. Both companies also saying they took mindful steps to prepare for the storm. We're always strategically looking out for the weather and making adjustments. We've learned some valuable lessons uh, and made sure we just move our, our folks ahead of time. Jackie, I'll go ahead and tell you, it feels like about negative 10 out here and you don't want to be out here very long. Now, when Reeves is talking about those outage causing conditions, he says again that we have not seen them, that that all could change tonight. All the snow and ice that melted off around me today mixed with those sub freezing temperatures that John was referencing earlier could mean some localized outages tonight and through in the morning. For now, reporting live in downtown Amarillo, Judd Baker, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie, back to you. Judd, thank you. Both Excel and Atmos urge customers to report any outages they have so they can work to restore service as soon as possible.